Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to autoplay an audio clip as soon as your app starts. So on the desktop here I've got my audio clip. It's, a, it's the sound of a gunshot, so if I just play it for you. That's very nice, very ghetto and gangster like. So what I'm going to do is go straight to Xcode and file new project. And make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone and I'll just name it something simple auto audio save that so if it's loaded ok then what I'm going to want to do first is place my audio clip into the resources folder so we just simply click and drag it and drop it in the resources we're going to want to save it to the project right, in our folder, so we copy items into destination groups folders and click add. And now we want to add the framework AV Foundation, so we just right click or control click on frameworks, go to add, now the very bottom one, existing frameworks, and we just look for AV Foundation framework, and we simply press add that. So that enables us, well, that enables us to have the framework to play audio, which is, well, we kind of do need it. Very important. So now, simply we go to our classes, and in the, let's drag it over a bit. Audio auto audio view controller dot m. Under the import audio view controller dot h here, we're going to want to import our AV foundation. So we do the hash sign, import, space, the right arrow, capital A V Foundation slash A V Foundation dot H. Then we end that with the right pointing arrow. And then we go straight to write our code, which we simply start by putting a dash bracket void. bracket, awake from nib, and we space it and curly bracket, and we go on to our second line, and we start this by ns string space star path space equal sign space bracket bracket ns bundle space main bundle bracket space path for resource and this highlighted one we'll just make it a bit bigger so we can all see now this first highlighted ns string is going to be the name of your audio clip so if I just quickly drop the resources folder down and my audio clip is called gunshot so we start by putting the name in either the at symbol, then quotation mark, and gun shut, and end that with another quotation mark. And then type, well of type here, is the format our audio file is in, and mine's in an mp3 file. So again we do the at symbol, quotation mark, and type in mp3, and that with a quotation mark. So that's the um, second line of coding, so now for the third line. You're going to simply put capital A V A audio player star space the audio space equal sign space bracket bracket and again A V A audio player space alloc bracket. There are space and in it with contents of URL here yeah? and then this one here we're going to put bracket ns url space file url with path and that's in these little and then this one here sorry and then a string here we put path and then for the error 
we'll put a bracket sorry at the end of that and in the error bit here we we're going to want to put null and just like that we end up with a bracket and a semicolon enter now for the final line of coding we do bracket the audio space play bracket and semicolon we enter and finally the curly bracket and that is all the coding that is going to be needed to do it so if, make sure it's in the simulator yes you have to build and run save that there should be no problems whatsoever now well hopefully anyway yep no problems and if you just listen out for the sound now as soon as the app starts my nice little gunshot wait for the iPhone simulator to load up it's been a bit slow it's having one of its moments here we go, got the little, here we go and there we go so it's that simple guys and I hope this helps with you in your Xco projects or any of your applications and um, just like to say make sure you comment on it if I am, um, if you believe I can improve my um, tutorials or anything like that, make sure you comment and um, subscribe. And yeah, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. All the links will be in the description below. But for now, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next tutorial.